Let's immediately jump into how to share a YouTube link that starts at a specific moment in time. We're gonna spend 15 seconds on desktop, jump right into mobile, and then cover how to share a YouTube link that starts and ends at a specific moment in time. So it's insanely easy on desktop. You just play through, go to the moment that you want to share, and then you hit the share button down here. Don't mess with the top link, do the share button right here. And then you can just do share starting at 725 and just click copy and you can share that link. You can text that link on mobile. We're going to take this share URL and we're going to add T equals the number of seconds that we want it to start at. I'm going to jump right onto my phone, have it come up. I'm going to use the same Facebook ad audience size. That's mainly what my channel is about. And let's do eight minutes, 28 seconds. So I'm going to hit the share button up at the top and copy the link. Okay, so 828 is what we decided. You have to do a little math, which is super frustrating. So eight minutes, so that's eight times 60. So there's 480 min seconds in eight minutes. Then we're gonna add 28 seconds. So we want it to start at 508 seconds. So I'm just going to text this to myself and then do question mark T equals 508, because that's what we found right here. You can also paste it in an email that works just as well. And when we send that, you can see as soon as we open it, it starts right at eight and a half minutes. So now if we click this link, it'll go to that moment in time when we shared it. Now, occasionally, It'll revert back to the time code you were previously at since YouTube tries to go back to your time code. But if you paste in a new window, things like that, you can test it out. You can even leave a comment in this video, testing it out, making sure it jumps to that moment in time. All right, so you can share starting and ending at the right time. Unfortunately, it doesn't work within the YouTube app. So if someone opens the link on their desktop, it will have the start and end time. If they open it in text or an email on their phone, it'll have the right start time, but if it automatically opens the YouTube app, that won't work. They will need to actually copy the link and paste it into an internet browser separately. So there is a little limitation, but let me show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna show you on a desktop. It's much, much easier. I'll show you how to do it on mobile in a second. So you'll still go to share, but now instead of just doing the link or copying this link, you're gonna go to embed. Now, if you just want it to be like a link that someone clicks in an email that just sends them to that, what you're gonna do is actually grab the HTTPS, not the quotes, just this link right here. So it's HTTPS, youtube.com slash embed, and then the code for the specific video. So we're gonna copy that. And then what you can do, you can open up the email, things like that. You paste that code, and then you'll do question mark, start, I do all lowercase, equals, let's say 100 seconds, so a minute 40. Then the and sign, and then do end equals, let's say we want this only to be five seconds. So we want it to start at a minute 40, end at a minute 45. And basically this is gonna open it in its own window. So it's a little bit separate from YouTube. You can see in a second, make sure this works. So you can see it takes up the whole thing. It's almost separate from YouTube. And it should, when we play, start at 140. And then it should end at 145. Boom, it's at the end. Okay, if you want to embed it like on a blog or something like that, it's actually better to use the entire embed code. So I'll show you in WordPress, you can always edit like the exact size or things like that. Okay, so in WordPress, we'll actually want to do HTML. I found this just works much, much better. So custom HTML is what we'll look for. Then we'll paste in the code. And then we're gonna look at that link, youtube.com slash embed. Within the quotes, we'll do question mark, start equals 100, and end equals 
105. So it won't preview immediately, but if you preview it, it will be on the page in the size that we specify. And it should start at a minute 40 and end at a minute 45. So this is great for a blog post showcasing a certain area. Let's see, starts at 140. And ends at one minute and 45 seconds. Okay. I will show you how to do a video that starts and ends at the same time on a phone. It is very complicated. It's much easier on a desktop, but we're gonna click share. It's up top or down below. Okay, so share. Again, we will copy the link. And then when we go to text it or put it in an email, we'll paste, but we need to change this quite a bit. So there's that little dot uh, in the YouTube. We'll wanna delete that. We'll want to switch it to youtube.com and then use that same slash and then do embed slash <laughs> this thing and then question mark start equals 100 and end equals 105. So if you're really in a pinch, you can do it this way. Uh, and then you can send it. The problem is, you can see if I tap on it right now, it will start at the right time. But it opens it in the YouTube app, which means it continues to play. So if you want to open it through your text, what you have to do, you have to copy it, then go to Safari and then do paste and go. And now you can see, uh, if we flip it. Someone who's likely to buy at the right price. Because Facebook, you're really bit. Okay, so it opened it in Safari or Chrome or anything like that. Now it just plays for the specific time. For some reason, doing open in Safari and email actually still triggers the YouTube app, but copying the link and doing paste and go. So if you are emailing or texting it and you really want that end time, you can either tell them when to stop watching or tell them to copy the link and paste it directly in Chrome or Safari. My channel does cover some tech stuff, but it's mainly dedicated to running profitable Facebook ads. If you wanna learn more about that, that playlist will teach you everything you need to know to become an expert Facebook ads person. Comment Blueberry if you made it to the end. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but check out that playlist.